Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to talk to you guys about some of the trendy garbage that's out there that people buy or that people use. It's things that range from Bane masks to help with your cardio, to wrapping tourniquets around your arms and legs, hoping you'll gain more muscle mass, uh, to $8 milk jugs to show that you're part of the 5% of people who will do whatever it takes to reach your goals, including spend $8 on a 50 cent milk jug. So let me put on my plus five pad of weaponsmithing, work on skilling up my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. And you know what, guys? A lot of this stems from this whole hardcore mentality that's out there, this whole idea that everything has to be hardcore, that you just have to be, uh, have to want to push beyond the limits and just do exceptional, elite, hardcore things in order to progress or be great at anything you want to do. And that's such a line of bullshit that these people sell. You know what? You know what makes you good at anything athletic? You know how you get better at running extremely long distances? You know how you get better at building muscle, at getting stronger and lifting heavy as fuck weight, being able to run 20 miles? You know how you get to all those points? By being consistent, just consistently putting in work. It is really and truly that simple. It's consistency. It's not even hard work. It's not that fucking hard to get to a 500 pound deadlift. It's not that fucking hard to be able to run 20 miles. Uh, most healthy people can achieve these goals. They just have to consistently put in the work over time. You don't actually have to train that hard to do any of them. But everyone wants to put in this whole, this, you've got to be hardcore. Everything's got to be so extreme. But it's not true. It's not true. It's all bullshit. This is just hype to get people to buy programs, to buy products. Uh, to listen to other people's ideas so that they can explain how they maybe achieve something that seems unreal uh, while claiming they did so without drugs. Uh, so let's talk first about these uh, tourniquets. Blood flow restriction training. This is a perfect example. You know what? The science on this is absolutely not conclusive. The studies that I've seen on this, like I've told you guys repeatedly, the studies are not even set up to study it correctly. They don't actually ever compare blood flow restriction to doing really lightweight with ultra high reps to failure. They only compare it, they only compare it to doing traditional style training. You know what they found? You guys think that they found that it produced superior results? No. They showed when they looked at blood markers, metabolites in your blood, which are generally indicative of muscle growth. All right, they're indicative of muscle growth. They're not absolute evidence of muscle growth that uh, when people use really light weights with these blood flow restriction bands, that they had similar blood metabolites to people who did normal training, you know, who did uh, like 8 to 12 rep sets, the moderate weight. They saw similar results on the blood work, you know, the blood markers. That's not doing it for six months straight and then doing a DEXA scan or a muscle biopsy to actually see if it builds muscle. They just showed similar results on the blood markers. But do you know what they've also had studies that show? The people who do really high reps with really light weights, like 30% of their max. So, you know, if you can bench 200 pounds, we're talking about doing 60 pounds to failure. 30%. They found it produced similar blood markers also. No one's ever compared just doing the really high reps with the bands versus without the bands. So we don't actually have any study that shows that the bands themselves are even equal in terms of these blood markers. We don't have any studies at all studying the long-term muscle growth. We don't know if they actually even help or not. We don't know if they impede muscle growth or not in the long term. It's never been studied. But, you know, when you have a bunch of people who have a big following, who proclaim to be natural, who promote these methods who claim to be scientifically based guys, like how Berto Nunez started doing them. Uh, that was big. He did it on YouTube. Some other YouTubers did, of course. Lane Norton does them. All these people on YouTube do this stuff, and then people catch on and say, oh, well, yeah, that must be how they get the results. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, they these blood flow restrictions, that's how these guys get great results. And they go try this stupid shit. You know what? It's not proven to work. There's no reasonable evidence I've ever seen anywhere to suggest it even has been proven to be as good as normal training. It's not actually that supported by the data. There's no long-term studies that actually measure muscle growth. So you don't know that it works. It requires you to buy a product, and it requires you to take a risk. There is a health risk associated with wrapping tourniquets around your arms and legs when you train. All right, It's not like it's completely risk-free. You know what? And the same guys who use this stuff will claim, well, I don't ever use anabolic steroids because they're cheating. I wouldn't use drugs because they're cheating and they could 
risk my health, but wrapping a fucking tourniquet around your arm isn't going to risk your health. Also, if you believe that wrapping tourniquets around your body gives you an advantage over normal weightlifting um, by using an external device wrapped around you, I don't know. Maybe in a way that's cheating. Um, who the fuck knows? I guess since it's not banned, it's not cheating. But it's the same concept. You're going to use an external object so that you can lift a lighter weight and basically not work as hard to get to hopefully get better results. And you're going to risk your health for it? Fuck, just do steroids at that point. I mean, oh, wait a minute. Maybe a lot of these guys do. Maybe a lot of they do and they just lie about it. Because it's the same logic there. Come on, guys. Fucking stupid. Uh, again, and they get people to buy into it, these guys who do this. And they try to sell this as, you know, something new and amazing. Because, you know, traditional weightlifting with barbells and dumbbells uh, and cables and all of that hasn't worked extremely effectively for decades. I mean, that hasn't produced NFL champions or gold medal winning athletes or world whatever IFBB pro bodybuilders. If that's your thing you want to follow. Uh, because, you know, that totally hasn't worked and doesn't still work to produce the top champions around the world. Seriously. Same thing. People throw on these Bane masks. You know, there's not one single bit of scientific evidence to suggest they work. In fact, the scientific evidence says they do the opposite. That they reduce your endurance. Not meaning that your nearest doesn't get worse, but had you gone and run without the mask or did your cardio without the mask, you would have gained more endurance from the same workout than you did with the mask. You gain, would gain more than you did with the mask. Now, someone will always say, well, this champion uh, put it on and he won, so therefore, you know, I'm going to go buy this $80 piece of shit and I'm going to wear it. Let me ask you a question. If some champion did all his running with a big pile of dog shit stuck to the top of his head, would you pay $80 for that piece of shit, that literal piece of shit, and stick it on the top of your head uh, just because uh, some boxer or NFL player used it? Would you go buy an $80 pile of dog shit and be caught running with it on your head? Because that's just as fucking stupid as these masks. And that's what you look like to anyone who knows exercise science when you're running around with these masks on. They think you're a fucking dumbass who paid $80 for something that's reducing your performance. Uh, but people think it looks hardcore because, I mean, it looks like Bane. I'm a bad motherfucker. But it's fucking stupid. In fact, Alex Viata has done write-ups on that. And he's someone who trains hybrid athletes. He trains hybrid athletes and he has said these things don't work. They actually hurt your endurance where they improve it less than had you not worn it. The whole concept, the entire concept behind it isn't even based on science. Uh, people are like, oh, it replicates high altitude training. No, it doesn't. It does not. You'd have to train in a hyperbaric chamber that has the pressure dropped around your entire body to get the benefits of high altitude training. And you know what? We've studied high altitude training and we found out that training at high altitude isn't what increases your red blood cells. The high altitude training is not what increases your red blood cells. It's the sleeping. It's the staying overnight and sleeping and everything at the high altitude that actually causes it while you're up there training and staying. And the reason it does it is it increases your red blood cell count. Now that's what they're trying to do with the mask is increase the red blood cell count. Also something people use performance enhancing drugs like EPO and anabolic steroids to do incidentally. Again, same thing. Someone's going to spend $80 for an external object trying to achieve the same result of a drug while trying to look hardcore and actually achieving nothing but having wasted $80. But people get sucked into this bullshit because some champion used it somewhere. Uh, the champion was already a champion before he used that piece of shit mask. Uh, he might have done better in his next competitive endeavor had he not trained with the stupid ass fucking mask, but he still won because he was already a champion and he was so already genetically gifted and talented and had already put in so many years of hard work that the mask didn't knock him down a notch. But it doesn't make it smart and it doesn't make it work. And it doesn't make it anything but a trendy piece of shit ripoff device that can't even do what it claims to do. It's not backed by the science or the data at all. It's total bullshit. Same thing. And people will buy anything. They'll buy fucking anything if someone tells them that, oh, this is hardcore. This is what you got to do. Uh, you know, and I mean, who's more hardcore in the online fitness world than Rich Piana? Most hardcore motherfucker on here, let's be honest. Rich Piana has done shit to his body <laughs> that most of us wouldn't even fucking dare do. Fuck no. Fuck no. 
But you know what? People like that. He's entertaining and he hypes stuff up. And I mean, the guy's a marketing genius because remember, I called him out on that and everyone told me later, no, no, it's $4. But I had screenshotted it when it was $8 and made a video on that. He was selling a milk jug, a plastic fucking milk jug that you can go buy at the store for 50 cents and had painted just a 5% logo on it. You know, that probably cost five cents to put that logo on there in mass production. Hell, he's probably sitting there doing them at his house with stickers. Charging $8 for that. And thousands of people bought them. And the whole point was that it shows you're part of the 5% crew. And it's like, if you're part of his crew, he's like, you're the 5% of people. Because 5% of the people in the world will do whatever it takes to reach their goals. I mean, that's fucking brilliant marketing because it, it sells elitism to people. It tells them if you buy this product, if you pay $8 for this milk jug and you're walking around filling your water up with it and people see it, they're going to know that you're part of an elite group of people in the lifting world. They're going to know that you're part of my team, my crew. And that's only $8 to have that. And everyone's going to know you're a hardcore motherfucker. No, man, they're going to notice you're a dumbass who paid $8 for a fucking milk jug. But it sounds good, and it markets, and it sells. Uh, so that's one thing that you can never take away from Rich. Uh, the guy is a marketing genius. The dude's fucking brilliant. I mean, as <laughs> from a business perspective, uh, you got to fucking respect that. It's fucking beautiful. But... That doesn't make the people doing it any less fucking stupid. No offense. I know some of my fans may have bought these, but come on, guys. It's a fucking milk jug. You know what? You could have just stenciled your own 5% on a 50-cent milk jug and save yourself $7.50. I'm just saying. But I know it's not official. It's not official. Okay, so it's a knockoff, you know? You'd be accused of having a knockoff milk jug that you didn't pay full price for. Kind of like a knockoff Rolex, you know? But that's the whole point, guys. There's so much bullshit. There's so much bullshit in this whole training world and things that people get conned into buying and ideas they get conned into buying instead of realizing, you know what, guys, the basics work. Simple, hard work works. I mean, you know what? It used to be hardcore and be considered, you know, uh, hardcore to come in and deadlift some heavy ass weight regularly. All right, that used to be, you know, hardcore, but I guess that's not hardcore anymore. Now you've got to wrap tourniquets around yourself. Uh, it used to be hardcore for people to get up and run five miles every morning uh, who wanted to become better at their endurance. Now, you know, you got to be wearing a Bane mask. You know, same thing. People got to go to a gym and they got to feel like they're special because they don't realize that people who go to a gym regularly from a fitness perspective are already doing better than 98% of the population. You're already in an elite group, but they got to have something that sets them apart from the other people at the gym to show that they're better than they are. They gotta be elite, you gotta be hardcore. You know what guys? This is just fucking training, it's just fitness. There's nothing hardcore about any of this shit. Seriously, people who are trying to sell you everything as being hardcore, they don't have your best interest in mind. They're just trying to sell you a load of bullshit. You know what, this is not hardcore. It's just lifting weights, it's just doing cardio. It's just getting in shape and improving yourself as a person. And that's a fantastic thing. That is an awesome thing. All right, that's a very positive thing. But it's not hardcore. It isn't. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.